Hola, mi bebé, gente. Happy 2020. Oh my gosh. Also, this thing is so loud. This clock is so loud, but it's so small. So small. If you don't know who I am, my name is Greta. Greta Luna Priego, however you want to say it. But I wanted to start off the new year with one of my favorite kinds of videos to make, which are fashion videos. I have been wanting for so long to make more fashion videos, even though that has been what I've been kind of like focused on lately on my channel. Yes. Um, but I've been having an issue lately with my wardrobe. I just don't like what I have. I don't like my clothes. I'm kind of feeling like unmotivated with like dressing cute. I'm wearing the same top that I wear like 50 times. Even my boyfriend is noticing. He's like, girl, you gonna wear that again? Yeah, so I have been bored with my clothes and I wanted to just, you know, I wanted to take very drastic measures, take my credit card and just, you know, I've been wanting to just like purge and buy new clothes and get new things, which there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with getting new things for your wardrobe, you know, getting a cute little sweater, getting the cute in a little pair of jeans, which I just got these jeans and they're so cute. They're from Zara, I highly recommend. Um, but yeah, so before taking extremely drastic measures and just throwing everything out the window, I thought I would make a video about it because I know there's a lot of people who feel the same way it's especially like during the new year when you just kind of want to like start fresh start new start to new you know but you don't have to take your credit card and buy new things and that that's not always a solution okay so I wanted to give you a better solution for just instead of buying all new things maxing out your credit card there's different ways to be okay and how to deal with hating your clothes okay so let's do this let's save some money 2020 stay hydrated 2020 save money 2020 we're doing all the things <laughs> So my first tip is to go through your out of season wardrobe. So it's kind of like shopping your closet, but not having to go anywhere and also not having to spend any money. So, you know, like that cute summer dress that you are obsessed with during the summertime and now it's kind of like winter is getting cold. And so you had to put her away in like a little box on your bed. Well, girl, I am telling you to go back and get all that stuff out because there's no reason why you can't wear your summer clothes in the fall time, in the winter time. You can do it, you just have to layer, okay? So layering is the key for everything. It's a key for longevity. So I made a video, actually, if you wanna watch it. <laughs> I made a video on how to basically switch your summer wardrobe and your summer clothes into fall and winter time and the key is layering so you can put like a cute little long sleeve a thin one a thin long sleeve under that dress you can wear some booties you can wear tights underneath and it's kind of like revitalizing reviving those clothes that you are obsessed with and but you felt like you couldn't wear anymore because it's too cold well, you can wear them. My second tip for when you hate all of your things in your closet is to purge your closet. So I know I had just talked about in the beginning of the video, you don't have to take drastic measures. Now, I'm not saying that you have to throw everything away and buy all new things. I'm just saying what sometimes ends up happening is when you hate your clothes, it's not really that you hate everything in your closet. It's kind of like you're just seeing the same couple, five, six pieces in your closet and you're forgetting about what else exists in there because maybe you haven't cleaned it out in a long time. So just go through your closet and look through the things and be like, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this. And then you'll be like, why do I still have this anymore? Like I could give this to a friend, I could donate it, I could give it to my sister, I could give it to my mom. And you'll realize, you know, you have good taste. It's just that all the things that you forgot about were all the way in the back. They were in your drawers. They were somewhere that you couldn't see them. And the only thing that you were seeing constantly are the things at the front of your closet. So maybe try to switch things around even by a clothing rack. If you want to get one, you can get really cheap ones, which I need to get one because, oh my God, that's such a good idea. And you can put all the things that are your staples, things that are super cute, things that you love and put them up front and center so that that's what you see when you're getting dressed in the morning. You know what I'm saying? 
All right, so my third tip is to play around with your accessories. Sometimes it's not necessarily the clothes that are the problem, it's the way that you accessorize them. So I just got this cute new bag. It's so cute. It's from this uh, Paris Parisian, it's from this French Parisian brand called Instapolar. Instapolar, I'll put the name on the screen. And it kind of just made me re-fall in love with my outfits because so I okay so I thought I was really bored with my outfits you know the problem I was just that I'm talking about but I got this purse and I just instantly just had so many ideas on how to pair this one cute little tiny purse with different outfits and I got so excited and then I wore it I literally wore it every single day when I was in Mexico City my family was like girl what fits in that sack is tiny but I really fell in love with pairing things with this one accessory so it's maybe not your clothes it's just the accessory so I highly recommend maybe getting a cute hat like I got a new purse get a cute little purse you can get really cheap ones online um, get some new necklaces just get things that you can pair with your clothes and you'll realize you know what this is actually really cute and one way that I would play around with accessories are like take some basics, some of your basics, like basic jeans or a basic white tee, and you can play around with it so many different ways with your accessories. So maybe get like a cute belt, pair with the purse, or maybe change up the shoes. You could change up your jewelry. So there's so many different ways that you can play around with the most basic items in your wardrobe, and you'll be like, oh my God. Okay, so if it truly and deeply and honestly is your closet that's the problem and you're just telling me okay Greta I tried everything that you said I cleaned out my closet I tried my accessories I tried all the things that you're saying but it's seriously my clothes maybe borrow from your sister from your mama from your best friend shop their closets and borrow some things and just try them out and sometimes you know Sometimes it'll inspire you not only to purchase cool new things that you never thought would actually look good on you, that you would like, but it'll inspire you to pair things together that you never thought about. So I do this sometimes. I know my sister gets mad at me or I get mad at her when she does it to me and then I do it to her too. But go through her closet, obviously ask her first. Go through her closet and be like, can I borrow this, this dress? Can I borrow this t-shirt? Can I borrow these jeans? Can I borrow these shoes? and try it out and it'll just kind of like give you that creativity and get you excited you know for a day or so so yeah it's awesome it's another way to not spend any money and if you have some close sisters in your life just ask them be like hey girl can we like do like a can we do like an exchange every now and again oh and i actually was reading online the other day and there was this girl she is a i think she's like a small fashion designer and she was talking about how she and her friends go to brunch like once a month and they bring things that they don't really like anymore or things they never wear anymore or just things that don't fit them well and they bring them to the brunch and they exchange it with their friends. I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. I thought that was so cute. So you could bring, you could do that. I mean, like I might even suggest that to my friends. My next tip is to follow new people on Instagram. So sometimes, it's just that you're not feeling inspired. So truly what it means when you're sick of your clothes, when you hate everything that you own, you're not inspired to dress cute, sometimes you're just in a rut. And it could be a reflection of other things in your life. Maybe the people around you aren't inspiring you or people on social media. So that's a way to start. You can go on your Instagram and be like, okay, does this person inspire me? Do I like this person or not? Do I find this person to give me, to provide me with some kind of valuable thing or valuable aspect in life, if that makes any sense, I don't know. Or you don't really necessarily have to unfollow people, but you could just follow new people. Follow people that are interesting, that are inspiring, and they don't have to be like fashion forward, fashion designers, you don't have to follow Gucci, you don't have to follow Donatella Versace, like if you wanna, you can do it. I mean, I follow her, she's great. but. You could just follow random people, people that aren't necessarily in the fashion industry because honestly, anyone can be inspiring. This next tip, I love this tip because I've tried or I've started implementing this in my life and it honestly has been 
amazing. It's been awesome. It's been really exciting. Do the unexpected. So this is not just, you know, in life, obviously. It's cool to do the unexpected in your life, but also in your closet. So the two things that you thought would never go together, pair them together, okay? If you've been afraid to wear denim on denim, like that denim, those denim jeans with that denim jacket, do it because it's going to show you that, you know what, I can pull it off. Number one, you can pull it off. Number two, it'll kind of show you what you can do with fashion because sometimes people get stuck in that rut in fashion because they're just like, I don't know what else they can do. I wear the same things all the time. Well, you choose to wear the same things all the time. You choose to pair certain things with certain things and that's why you're bored. So maybe try pairing new things together. You'll get re-inspired. You'll just find this new flame in your life and you'll just want to keep doing it. And I think that's what happened to me. I think that's when I started getting really into fashion was when I started purchasing like really bright colors or um, getting things that were a little weird, but I just felt really cool wearing them. And I got over that fear of like, okay, I can't pull it off. I don't think it looks cute. People are gonna stare at me. People might look, but it's not for the reasons that you're thinking. Okay, they're probably jotting that down like, okay, denim on denim with the one. Okay, I'm gonna try that out. Um, but my next tip is to be okay with re-wearing your outfits, okay? I know sometimes we feel the pressure, and I don't know, this doesn't pertain to everybody. Some people are completely fine with re-wearing things like three days out of the week, that's fine. But sometimes I feel like with social media and with things that we constantly see, like people dressing, with new outfits, new clothes, buying new things all the time, it can kind of make you feel crappy about wearing the same things over and over and over again. And it's fine because you can re-wear things, but it's just about how you pair them. I mean, if you love the combination that you created, the little concoction that you created with that shirt and those jeans and those pants and those earrings, and you wanna wear it again and again and again, then wear it again and again and again. But you can also switch it up, like I said, with your accessories, you can switch it up with your basics, like maybe if you really like those jeans, instead of wearing it with that white t-shirt, you can wear it with like a, a, like a cool fun t-shirt, you can wear it with like a silky top. It's okay to rewear things, honestly. I don't know if this pertains to any of you, I know some people really couldn't care less about rewearing things, but I feel like with social media and with all these bloggers and Instagrammers and people just wearing new things all the time and never wearing the same thing twice, it can get a little bit, like you can feel a little bit like some type of way about that, you know, those things that you wear all the time, you know? The last thing that I wanted to say is stop, ladies and gentlemen, stop with the fast fashion as much as you can. So this pertains to me too. I mean, I shop at Zara. I heard Zara is actually gonna go like, Mm, slow fashion they're gonna be more sustainable in 2020 I don't know what that means the reason it's called fast fashion is because it's that it's fast it's not slow it's fast it comes and goes it sticks with the trends it, if there's like a 10 minute trend it will have products that are that trend and it'll just keep going and changing and it's constantly going and going and going and going but the issue with fast fashion is that it doesn't last very long. So not only is it really bad for the environment, it's not good for the people creating the products, but also it kind of creates this whole fashion rut issue because these are things that don't last very long and things that don't look cute in the long run because it's not on trend anymore. It's not cute anymore. And even the material itself just doesn't look the way it looked when you bought it. So. I suggest if you are going to do the drastic, do the dramatic, and take all the things out of your closet and bring in new things, I think that you should really think about what are you bringing into your closet. So look for brands that are a little bit, yes, they're more pricey, they're pricier, but they're pricier for a reason because they're things that will stay in your closet for so much longer. You're not gonna get in that fashion rut as you know, as often as you might be getting into it now. And these are things that are more timeless, more classic. So invest in those pieces that are a little bit, you know, 
will last you longer, will last through all of the, all of the trends that will come and go, but that item will stay cute. So yes, this is what I was looking at the whole time. It was my little notebooks on you. Um, I wrote some little notes on here for you, but I hope that was helpful. I thought this would be a really interesting video to make. I actually did a poll on my Instagram and I was like, should I do this video or should I do a video about how, um, I might actually still do it because I think it's really cool. It's how clothes or how to use clothes to change your mood. I think that is so interesting because I've been doing that lately, like to feel more motivated, to feel more just like, mm. but yes, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video and yeah, bye, adios.